it's looking like, from what everyone's telling me, that I am close to the end of the game. You know, arguably, if I actually just pushed forward, I could probably beat the game in one to two more streams. But I want to do all of the optional stuff. I want to beat, the, beat this fucking boss that's defeated me a million times, okay? I want to do the optional dungeon that I now know how to access. I want to try to do all that stuff before I beat the game, because, let's face it, it's the final Dark Souls. It's a send-off to this series. And quite honestly, no one really enjoyed watching me play Battleborn. So, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I might just skip it completely. Uh, I enjoyed playing it, but it certainly isn't anything revolutionary. Again, it seems like one of those games that you need to be doing it cooperatively with other people uh, constantly, like a group of friends, in order to get maximum enjoyment out of it. Outside of that... I got a new phone t yesterday, I had to. Oh, I really hate you, but I cannot live without you if I try. I can't imagine life without you, ice cream. Mmm, mm, you're so creamy, and I wish you never ended, ever. I can't imagine... I had my, my old phone's battery was terrible. My old phone, the battery lasted literally 30 minutes, and then the phone would die on me. So I had to get a new phone. I ended up getting the iPhone 6S. And uh, this phone is pretty interesting. It's a little bit larger than my old phone. By about, uh, you know, a little bit more screen, uh, what do they call it? Screen, uh, fuck, I can't think of the, the word I'm looking for. But a bigger screen. It's more responsive. It actually has a fingerprint reader that I use to log into it. Um, it's faster. It's got a much better camera. And I'll probably never take advantage of any of those improvements that I just mentioned. Uh, but I wanted to obviously get something that was a kind of a step up from what I had if I was going to get a new phone. And so I decided to get this one. So we shall see, in time, how the phone works out. In fact, what I might do is after you know, having the phone for about a week, maybe I'll do a video about it, about what I like and what I dislike about it. Also, interestingly enough, I tried a different brand of case. I usually use the OtterBox, but the OtterBox is huge and clunky and makes the phone gigantic. Um, and I ended up getting a thinner case called a Pelican case that seems pretty durable, and, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not into phones, let me put it that way. I'm not a phone aficionado. A lot of people were trying to sell me on a droid, but I was like, I already know the iPhone, I already know, uh, you know, I already know all about the, uh, iOS operating system. I already have an iPad that I still use. And to have to kind of relearn everything to go to a, a, a freaking Android. I didn't really care. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get a new phone, but when you have a 30-minute battery life, sometimes you're forced into these kinds of decisions. I would have much rather preferred to just keep my old one, but it is what it is, I guess. <clears throat> uh, I guess I'll do the gratuitous plugs. Obviously, watching the videos and streams. There's social media. I, I have Twitter, app they call me DSP, and you can check the description of all of my live streams and videos for a link to my Amazon associate account, Patreon, where your pledges help me not only to pay my bills, but you also earn personal perks. A dollar a month help. For a dollar a month, she sells handmade glycerin soaps. She sells wax tart melts.